Newton's third law states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. But what does that really mean? In this video, I'll demonstrate Newton's third law in two real life situations. Go again, Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Here we go. We won't mean how a fish swims so equally through water, but never really stop to wonder how it happens. Turns out that you could Newton's third law by creating an action and forcing a reaction. Here's how. A fish uses its fin to push back on the water. That's the action. The reaction is the water pushing back on it, causing the fish to be propelled through the water. So, in short, the action causes the reaction. Simple, right? So here's another example of Newton's third law, this time with a garden hose. When I turn this garden hose on, to simulate the jet stream of water that comes out of a fire hose, two things happen. One, the water shoots out with a whole lot of force. Two, the water shooting out is going to put an equal and opposite force on my hand. But what is it for? Well, it's pushing back on me at the same pressure that it's coming out. That's Newton's third law. Go again. Action. And reaction. I hope that my two demonstrations, from the swimming of a fish to a fire hose in backward form, have helped you better understand Newton's third law. Remember, for every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. That's all, folks.